Welcome back to NTV Weekend Edition. Now, leaders in Marsabit County have urged that government not to re the government rather not to reduce the budget for the school feeding program as it will have a negative impact on the learners. And as Martin Mwangi reports, the program is viewed as a way of dealing with banditry in the county. The school feeding program has been a critical component of the learning process in the country and especially in ASAL regions. According to the leaders in Marsabit County, the program has helped learners who are mostly from pastoralist backgrounds to remain in school and therefore budget should not be a problem. As a country, and especially Kenya Kwanzaa government, we should commit ourselves to this school feeding program. And at the mambo watu ya kusema, at the school feeding program, haita kuwa na budget. Kama hizo budget zingine zitakuwa na pesa, Kwanini school feeding program haita kuwa na budget. The program has been cited as a component of peace in regions susceptible to banditry. The leaders are also challenging counties to also contribute to the continuation of the program. Look at Nairobi, what is happening in Nairobi. We have a lot of school feeding program. The children are fed very well in the city. If the child in the city is well fed in school, the child in the desert should be fed twice as that. Uh, this feeding program is part of uh, a very important uh, program that in the long run will be uh, a, a, a spring or a source of peace for Marsabit because we've been grappling all through with insecurity issues caused by cattle rustling and mostly when you find the kids who are, who are not in school, these are the kids who are engaged in cattle rustling. Despite the government assuring that the program will continue, there are concerns that some schools in the Asal regions do not have enough food in the stores and could be depleted in a few days. Martin Mwangi, NTV.